By understanding how molecules behave, we'll have a better idea of how substances such as gas and liquids behave. Then we'll be able to see how force, pressure, heat, and temperature affect them. Molecules act according to three fundamental rules. One, molecules are constantly moving in all directions. Two, the molecules of any substance are relatively far apart within that substance. Gas molecules are much farther apart than those of liquid. Liquid molecules are farther apart than the molecules of a solid. Three, molecules attract each other. This attraction is stronger in a solid than in a liquid because in a solid the molecules are closer together. The attraction between the molecules in a gas is very low because of the greater distance between the molecules. Matter exists in one of three different states as a solid, a liquid, or a gas. However, some substances, depending on the amount of temperature and pressure, can occur in all three states. Let's take as an example a byproduct of production processing, hydrates. Hydrates are solid ice-like crystals which form in pipelines at high pressure and at temperatures which are often above the freezing point of water. Hydrates create problems in flow lines. They restrict and in some cases stop up lines, making flow measurement and production as a whole difficult or impossible. And this is why it's important to maintain temperature and pressure levels within a fairly narrow range. Something interesting to note, it is the combination of temperature and pressure that ultimately determines the state of the hydrates, not just temperature or pressure alone. We'll discuss the effect of temperature on substances in more detail later. Let's look first at pressure. Pressure is defined as the ratio of total force to one unit of a given area, usually in square feet or square inches. One thing to remember, there is a difference between pressure and force. Force is an action, where pressure is the measurement of that action. Force can best be described as a push or a pull. If you try to open or close a valve, you're applying force. Force is also exerted downward by an object because of its weight. Like this oil drum, for example. The weight of this 55-gallon drum exerts a downward force of about 412 pounds. Force can also be exerted upward. To lift this drum, you would need to exert an upwards force greater than 412 pounds. Our final piece of the pressure definition, force per unit of area, refers to the surface area the force impacts. For example, if the area is a floor expressed in square feet, one unit of area might be defined as a single square foot. In the petroleum industry, however, it's more common to express pressure in terms of pounds per square inch, or PSI.